Boom shakalaka! Hey! All right! We all boom right. shakalaka land up in here. Yes, indeed. Caleb's already with the boom shakalaka. You know what time it is. What you doing, Caleb? What's wrong? All right. We know what time it is. Okay, for we sure. We want to shout out to our special frequent viewers today. Tommy mm -hmm. L. Holmes, Betty Cozy, our good friend. Mm -hmm. Sherman Wise, Michelle Simon. Yes. Also, Kelly Conrad, Romaro Anderson, Shelly Wollert, and Ashawn Denton. Hey. That's right. Shout yes. out to you. I'm Rocky. And I'm Shaviva. And, and this, this is, is North End, End Update. Update. We having some fun, y'all, because we're kicking off the weekend. Mm -hmm. Right? We got yes. some great guests today. We have Beauty Fitz. Yes. And we have Tiani Carrasco. That's right. That's right. From the Cedar Valley Fashion Arts and Culture Expo. Yes. 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 And they will be joining us in just a few minutes. We got comments already. Somebody want to talk? What is it, Caleb? What is uh, it? Suwada. Is that how you say it? Suwada Hoxha? Suwada. 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 Yes. Greetings from Germany, ladies. We That's right. You. This lady, she just decided she loved us. We love you right back, Suwada. Thank you for, for tuning in. Always. All the way from Germany. And thank you for making us the best show on the whole internet. Yep. Yep, because yep. there's always something good happening on the North End. And it and all started on the North End. Show you right. right. And everywhere else. <laughs> okay. Yeah. In Cedar Valley and everywhere. We have a ticket giveaway today, Shabiba. That's right. We do. Um, there is a, I am doing, <laughs> yes. a sip and paint at Absalom Lounge on Wednesday, the 29th from 6 to 8. And we have a couple of tickets to give away if you can answer a question. Right, so we hope you're watching, paying mm -hmm. attention, because this is a very easy and important and good and special question. <laughs> yep, you just gotta be quick on the draw, that's it's it. It's about a very special, important person too. It's about Shaviva. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's always about Shaviva, Shaviva, Shaviva. No, I'm just yeah, kidding. right, right, right. <laughs> okay, so the question is, where can a person find some of Shaviva's artwork displayed? Okay, so mm -hmm. whoever can answer that question wins not one, but two free tickets to the Paint and Sip. That's which right. is going to be hosted at Absalom. At the Absalom Lounge, and it's so much fun it and is. such a relaxing atmosphere. Yes, yeah. you just kind of sit there and sip on a little wine and do your little painting. Mm -hmm. And Shaviva's a great um, instructor. So where can you find some of Shaviva's artwork? We're going to keep going with the show. Caleb, keep us posted. Okay. okay. Yep. Make sure you stay with us for Give It Air. Yes. Because we're going to be talking about wokeness, yes. CRT, yes. defunding the police, and other dog whistles. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And our talking point, we're going to open up with our guests. We're going to ask, talk to them about if they, and they probably do, mm -hmm. begin their day with I get to instead of I have to. Because it's all about perspective, right? For sure. For sure. Okay. And we mm -hmm. want I want to say one more thing because we're having our very first fundraiser. Yes, yes, yes. Talk about it, Chevy. Well, now we are, <laughs> <laughs> we're approaching six years of positivity. Y'all just don't know. Year after year, we've been saying, oh man, we need to throw a party. It's another year. We should throw a party. Right. So finally, here we are. We are going to throw a party, a fundraiser, a banquet, an award ceremony, and just, um, just enjoy the people and the situations that have accompanied, accompanied us this whole time. Yes. Yep. So we want you to get your tickets today. Find us somewhere in Waterloo tonight. Mm -hmm. be, where's Rocky and Shaviva like Waldo? There no. you go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have tickets on us. Or you can go to the uh, website that's, that's on our right. page as well. Yep. Or you can go to our website, which is North End Update at northendupdate.org backslash shop. shop. That's right. Okay, mm -hmm. we got some breaking news. Then it's time to talk to the people, Shaviva. Okay. The beautiful people. Yes, indeed. Roz Smith currently joined Experience Waterloo. That's the breaking news. Yes, yes. indeed. Hey. That's a great, great, great breaking news He's going to be an asset to them. We already know this, I'm right? I'm telling you, it mm -hmm. is. Corey Holmes, another breaking story here. Corey right. Holmes is now on the board of the Community Foundation of Northeast Iowa. Yep. So Again. that's another great, great, great news Definitely story. an asset. And we heard 
through the grapevine mm -hmm. that <laughs> she's looking at me because you heard some gossip last time you was on this show. <laughs> she don't know what I will say now, right? Oh. Okay, so this through the grapevine. Newsflash. Oh, wait, where was I at? Oh, Starbucks. Okay, Starbucks is opening at the Marriott Courtyard. Did you guys know that? Oh, that's not that. Okay. I thought I was doing something by breaking that out. Okay. Anyway, apparently, other people know. We got anyway. a news flash for our birthday people. Be sure you stick around for your shout out and song. That's right. Right. And because we're going to sing just for you. Yes. Okay. I think now you got all the information. Do we have any comments before we introduce our guest, Kayla? Yes, I think we have some guesses about where Shaviva's. Uh, awesome! That's <laughs> what we're talking about. Somebody wants From to see Joyce it. and Wilder. <gasps> Yay! Jesse Cosby and the Rec Center. Yes, Whoa, that's okay. right, Joyce Ann. Thank you for watching. Hey, hey. Thank you so much. Awesome, and the Rec Center. Okay. She said a couple of places. She said a couple of places. All right. Congratulations. Yes, ma'am. Tickets to yes. the Page and Sip at Absalom. And what's the date for that? That is the 29th, Wednesday the 29th from 6 to 9. It's an adult wind down. Get it? Wind down. Okay. Yes. Got it. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much, Joyce, for watching. And now it's time to introduce our guest. And thank you, North End Update. They see y'all already. You've been doing something for them? No, so, I okay. been doing anything. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome, welcome. We have Beauty over here to your left. Yes. And over here to our right, we have Tiani. Hello. All right. Yes, yes. Well, we're going to talk to you ladies about what we have first. Should we ever give it air? Yes. Or actually, oh. our talking point is next. And this is ta brought to you by Grout Museum D District, and be sure to check out their new exhibit, The Toy Box, Generations mm -hmm. of Play. All right, so how do you start your day? Do you think I, when you work, do you work during the day? Uh, yeah, I do hair, so I work for myself, but I still got to pay the bills. You know? Oh, for sure. I still got to work. Yes. Right, um, right. So I would say that that's kind of new for me. Um, growing up, it was kind of like a get up because you have to do this and this and this. Um, and so now as I get older and I have my own children, now I kind of have to change the perspective of not only me, but uh, my child as well. And so I think that's something that probably have been started the last couple of years, but I every day can work on it. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. One of those things that you have to be active about every day. Right. I think um, it helps if you enjoy your job. Absolutely. Right. It does. So mm -hmm. if, you, it if does. somebody's fortunate enough to do something they love, then like, yes. it's easy to say, I get to go to work and do right. this. Right. But if it's a chore, what about you, Beauty? Um, I think for me, it's a work in progress. <laughs> okay. um, me, you know, wearing many hats and being a mom, and it's like, oh, it's time to get up. You know, but mm -hmm. throughout the day, it's like, okay, you know what? It could... It could be worse. Oh, mm. say that. You know, That's I nice. couldn't. I couldn't have a job. I couldn't. You mm. know, have a place to. You know, lay and be able to get up. So, but it's it's a work in progress. I think. That's right, and I think that's the rest of our um, the, of the subject is we often dress our opportunity. We thought this was appropriate because y'all talking about dressing <laughs> right. fashion. Yeah. Dressing. We often dress our opportunities as stress, but in fact they are blessings. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's all about perspective, and you've always talked about perspective. For sure. Oh, man. A friend of mine gave me the best lesson I ever had about that when I was living here, and I felt like everything was at just such a slow down pace, and I was like, uh, oh, it's man. dull, it's boring, it's rah, 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 rah. So my friend said, well, it's dull, it's boring here, um, I need to leave. He said, or you can look at it, it's dull, it's boring, there's nothing to do here. I can set this bad boy out. I can do all of this, <laughs> you know. Right. So I'm like, whoa, okay. And so that was like uh, my friend Kenneth. That oh, was like sure. thirty some years ago that he gave me that advice. Not and, that long ago. Oh yeah, okay. that long ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And it is. Everything can really be turned that way. Yeah. About yeah. Perspective. Perspective. So. Yeah. Yeah. We just wanted to talk that out a little bit. Thank you for entertaining that subject, Caleb. Is there any more comments about that? <laughs> Joyce Ann Wilder just said, uh, I think 
Keanu is her hair lady. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Yes, yes, oh. I do. I was Joyce. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, well, thank you, Joyce. And um, we're going to talk about our Give It Air. What do you got to say about that, Shaviva? Okay, you know, um, have you noticed, or I'm sure you have noticed, that certain things, as soon as they get mentioned, it raises the hair on the back of some people's necks. Mm. You say wokeness, and they automatically get a negative feeling about that. You say CRT, it's like, oh, that's a communist plot. They automatically get something negative feeling about that, or defunding the police. But when it really comes down to it, do these people even know what these things are? Right. Do they know th what, that they are? And I'm thinking... For the most part, no. Well, you know, the whole defund the, the, the police thing kind of got backfired and thrown back in our faces because it wasn't really the right phrase to use in the first place. It really meant um, re-proportioning uh, money going towards different outlets like mental health yes. care and stuff like that. And the same thing with yo woke. It made... Um, I think some people turned it around to make it a bad thing, which is not what we do. <laughs> so <laughs> us wokers, the people that's wide <laughs> awake, we know what it means. So, yeah, I think that as long as it, the mainstream doesn't get a hold to it and flip-flop it. Yep, and I think people do themselves a, a great uh, service by checking things out and see what, what does this mean actually mm -hmm. instead of just it being a hot button that you react to when you hear it without mm -hmm. having absolutely any Nothing. idea what it is. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm woke and I'm proud. There you, you go. I'm woke. I'm woke. You woke. I'm woke. I'm woke. Wide so away. now what? Yes. <laughs> we all woke. That just has to tell you it's a good thing, right? There you what go. What show on the internet? What else could it be? There you right. go. <laughs> we just wanted to give that a little air. Okay, yes. now we get to talk to you guys, Shaviva. I mean, uh, Beauty and Tiani. Talk about, let's see, I don't know which way to go. Um, talk about the fashion show. What are we talking about today? Okay, we Tell are actually it. in the process. We just left from downtown at the Courtyard Marriott. Um, they're in the process of setting up now. We have production down there. We're getting the seats together, um, getting our VIP ready, just making sure all the little last minute things are are available trying to create more space because we've gotten to the point now that we're completely sold out yes. so it'll be standing room only. Oh, oh no! Whoa. Okay. So, so, yeah, I, I think that price was the sticker. Everybody yeah. want can afford it and they want to get out and mm -hmm. see this yeah. hot show. That's I mean right. last year it was phenomenal. I think Agnes has some photos of last year's but mm -hmm. just the aviance and everything should be. Yes like, absolutely it was just so um and then we got the opportunity to talk to people on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a picture. Yeah, there's, yeah. Yeah, there's us talking to people. Right, Who is that we're really, talking to? Is that Dominique? Is that, I think like, that's Dominique Seafood Lady. No, it looks like Joyce. I don't know. Okay. Anyway. So, anyway. Yeah, it was a go. great, great time. Beauty, what do you want people to know about this year's show? Um, this year's show is different from any show that we've done. It's very intimate. We've never done an intimate oh, show, so, great. you know, we just wanted people to kind of just really get the feel of just being, um, being in an intimate space and just really changing the perspective of what a show could look like. Oh, so, so it's going to be yeah, different. Yeah, it's different from anything we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. Even from last year. Last year was a really big show, and even this one is, is, is different from that. So. Wow, wow, wow. Now, right. how long has the show been going on? Um, this is year nine. Next year will be year ten. Wow. Okay. Wow. And how many models do you guys usually use? And can you talk to us about how you get your models? I think you talked about it last mm -hmm. week, but talk about it. Uh, so right now we kind of are choosing our designers, and then from there we decide you can have up to so many looks. Um, if they choose to have their own models, they can do so. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we usually try to hold a, a model call. Um, if we know that people are automatically interested or people are reaching out um, throughout the year, then we reach out to them first usually. But usually anybody can be involved, uh, any age. A lot of time we do have kids involved. Um, we do have designers that 
that involve kids clothes mm. um, and so it just kind of depends on the year every year is different but this year our designers we had a couple that chose their own models and then oh. we have a couple of uh, our veteran models that will always come back just because they're a part of the show and will always be a part of the show so yeah now having seen the show before um, well a fashion show period when people hit that runway it's like a whole, it becomes a whole other oh, yeah. world, you Absolutely. know, as far as how people present themselves. I might see you in the grocery store one way and I see you out on the runway and it's like, wow, entirely wow. different. <laughs> right, yes. different perspective. Yeah. yeah. Do models, um, I mean, do you, um, is there a specific way that, that models are taught to walk and could somebody like possibly demonstrate? Yes. Uh, absolutely. Oh, look, okay. you just got her heels yeah, on. Yeah, I got her heels on. Beauty's ready. Oh sure, I'll okay. give it the table, or can you? Um, we could do that. Will you hit that, Caleb, the record on the tablet? Yes. Come on. Get up. Uh, okay. Can, is um, Ed, can you follow her? What do you need us to do as the table? So first, I'll just say um, to your first part of your question, I think walking is a confidence. Um, you have to have the confidence in yourself. I, I usually tell um, when we get our models and they need coaching and help, I normally tell them, you know, just look at it as if you're the baddest thing in the room. Right. Mm. And you got you have to own that confidence, and it's also about your posture. Mm. Um, so I I try to tell people, you know, walk with your 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 chin up, your back straight, and just think of somebody pulling pulling you at the top of your head. Um, oh. So yeah, I can demonstrate. Okay. Go. go on, girl. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can just lay that down and. And we take all experience levels, right? Beauty yeah. is a very experienced model, um, but there's models that are just interested in it straight out of high school or still in high school that would be interested. And we do some coaching. Uh, Beauty does some one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. So oh. we do we do help you out if this is something that you're interested in. And you don't in. have to be tall. You, you don't have to be tall. Okay. Absolutely. All no, shapes, there's... all sizes, all ages. Love that. Models too. Oh, yeah. awesome. Awesome. All well, right. Is Brooke all right. gonna, Brooklyn going to be in the show this she year? She is going to oh. be. Oh, can she show us a little something too? Or yeah, we can talk it? about okay. it. She's got on some of the hottest stuff for spring. Oh, so we'll talk good. about that a little bit. Okay, we can do first that. we get to learn to walk. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you want to start kind of with your, your chin up, neck long, and then your back straight. It's more so how you walk. So you, when you walk in heel, you want to walk heel toe okay. and not toe heel because you can kind of mm -hmm. fall over. Oh, he on the toes. <laughs> All right. And then, and, then, uh, and then mine is more of like a sway, but everybody has their signature style. And once you get comfortable, you'll kind of get like your signature and get your confidence. But you just kind of walk, like kind of like a cat, like you sashay. Oh, okay. But you still keep in mind that you're going heel toe, heel toe, and you want to walk with your legs in front of you. Oh, so heel toe, oh, I see. heel toe, heel toe. Like and head up. All right. Yes. And then right. head up. Okay. You want to find a focal point and just keep walking. Oh, All right. nice. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you for that demonstration on walking. Now, y'all practice, practice overnight because we all will be walking like that tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Right. 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 That's right. I'm walking there like the cat strutting on a tin roof. Yes. I know that's right. right. That's right. <laughs> you might get pulled up there. You oh, no, know. no. I'll, I'll be in the way back in the back. <laughs> way okay. back in the back. I hear you. Right. You said you mentioned um, some fashion trends. In fact, you said that um, Miss Brooklyn is dressed in some of the latest kind of fashion Your trends. Your hand is in the way. Miss Brooklyn. Yes. 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 Okay. So we can have her come up. Um, yes. And actually, we did the same thing with beauty right now. If we're just going to kind of tap into what's what's hot. Yes. Um, beauty has on the denim on denim. Yes. And so let's talk about, number one, the trends. The, the pieces are never different, right? Things recycle. That's how sure. fashion is, right? Yeah. So the denim jacket is not new. Um, it's just being worn differently. It's being worn on denim. Yeah. Um, it's being worn with a platform. It's being worn with a tennis shoe. Say hi. Um, Brooklyn, say hi. Let's show what you have. All right. It's so good to see you. You're growing up so fast. I'm sure you hear that a lot. That's right. Yeah. Your hair is gorgeous. Yes, it is. I love that. Who did your hair? <gasps> Mom did your hair. I know you hear oh. that all the time, too, because, see, I raised little girls, too, and that's all <laughs> people say. Well, you look great. Can you show us, talk about what you have on today? What, what, I love that camouflage. It's like all different colors. Who's the body? Are you going to be in the show tomorrow? Yeah. Are you looking forward to it? 
or you know, okay, nervous. sort of. Huh? <laughs> okay. So she's wearing a, a bold print, and bold prints are in right now. They will be in in the spring, and so she didn't even know she would have to come up here. But oh, um, that was so bold nice prints is something that's in right now. Adidas, obviously, that's that's the brand. But um, the, she's even got the Nike shoes on. So the whole outfit, she is ready for the spring, whether she, she knows is. it or not. She is layered up, she and she looks good. Is. She looks great standing yes. right there by that's mom. That's right. Right. Thank would you, you, Brooklyn. We didn't mean to put you on the spot. In the middle of the floor here. I think she wants her chance. She got a 30 seconds. Are you going to walk? Right. There you go. Do you walk? Nice. Nice. She doesn't <laughs> want to walk. Thank That's you. That's all right. So Thank much, you. Brooklyn. Good job, yes. Brooklyn. Yes. Wow. She is growing up so fast. Yes. So fast. My goodness. I remember so when that baby was growing by. I hear that a lot, too. Everybody <laughs> hears all those things. Well, tomorrow's going to be a great night, Shavita. Indeed. Indeed. What about, what are some, um, some trends, no, excuse me, some classics that oh. everyone should have in there, every woman should have in her wardrobe? I, so I'll let you pick one that you think. Uh, but I, I think that mine dress. is that black dress okay. now. Okay. I, I feel like you have to have a black dress. And we was just talking about what we were going to wear, right, yeah. behind the scenes yeah. and what we were going to. And we're like that all oh, black is just so classy. You know what I mean? It makes you mm -hmm. feel good. It makes you feel nice and slim and get the perfect fit. I think that's, I'm going with the black dress. And I think I am going to go with a perfect pair of I love high waisted jeans. Yes. Oh, I yes. have yes. I have fringe high waisted jeans, all black. So I think for me, my staple, my closet staple, is a good pair of high waist jeans. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and I'm so glad. When will the skinny jeans be gone? <laughs> I'm so tired of. They're on yeah. their way out. Oh, They're thank you. The boofy's been coming back. I, they are. Oh, yeah. I bought a nice pair of jeans yesterday. We went shopping and I found a nice pair of high waisted jeans with the. Um, kind of like not palazzo but flare, but more, they. I don't know, I stove love them. Pipe yeah. or I'm so glad they're back on yeah. the rack. Yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, and um, talk about the colors. What kind of colors? Because like today, Shaviva and I were supposed to look like spring, but it was cold outside, and this sweater <laughs> felt good. Yeah, we're, we're so, fighting that still, right? Yeah, the spring yeah we're in between seasons. So. Um, what is it too early because I was gonna wear something what was it it was like bright pink and green I suppose it's not too early but I felt like the white jacket over top was a little pushing it so I picked this sweater did I do good yes you, you did, did well you did, okay. you did well we try not I try not to wear a lot of white tops I'm messy as well so okay. that's not my that's not gonna be my type of style I like the cream you did well See, and okay. My thing is I love bright colors. So yeah. I am winter, summer, spring, fall. Anytime I can add a little pink, I'm okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Shaviva? Where's I love bright colors. Yes. Yeah. I do. Yeah. And so basically in, in, to encompass everything we just said, bright colors are in if you want to wear them. If yes. you want them. If it's all about them. your energy and how you're feeling, right? Yes. Miss Shaviva's a pretty bright person, so it makes yes. sense that she's eluding that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. But right. see, like I said before, it's always about Shaviva. What about me? I'm bright too. You are bright. Okay. There you go. So you you're, are a, you're an earth tone person. Oh yeah, very yes. much so. And yeah. I've always wore earth tones. I, and when I have to reach out and get a color. We had that conversation when I was here last time. You really? were talking mm -hmm. about the brown. And yep. you see what I did. Mm -hmm. And I try hard. I had pink out. You got the color on the lip. That's all right. You okay. did it. Okay. You Thank did it. You. That's right. Just Thank a little you, pop. Tiana. Y'all have to come back more often. <laughs> <laughs> so great. Um, so what do you want people to know in closing about um, what is happening tomorrow? I want you to know that we will start on time. Yes. Uh, we will start right at 7. The doors open at 6, but we will start on time. We're not waiting on a guest uh, host or anything like, like before, that. Like sure. before. So, so we have... Um, a host that will be there on time to make us laugh. Sherelle and Micah, they are going oh, to be hilarious. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so I just really look forward to that. That is that is my piece of advice is that uh, get there on time, get there early. Mm -hmm. uh, we will only have standing room standing and the tickets room. will be $20 at the door. Yes. Uh -huh. Now that venue at the Marriott, I don't, we've never been to anything there. So where is it that you know, we want to? Yes, we have. It, Isn't it going? right next to the um, where the Iron Horse used it's to be? right next yes. door to yes. that. Yep. Oh, it's yep. a big room. Yes. yes. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
It's going to be there, standing room only. You will have tickets at the door. Yes. So, but not many, maybe. But can people still catch up with you today for tickets? We do not have any physical <gasps> tickets left. Okay. Oh, So yes. the show starts at <laughs> what time? Starts, doors open at 6, show starts exactly at 7. Okay, so we'll be there at 3. <laughs> okay, Shaviva. Us too. Be ready now. Yeah. Okay. So don't forget to come to their show tomorrow if you can, if you yes. can get in. If you came too bad, you, we had time to tell you, didn't we? Yes, we did. We told you last week. Been telling you. Last week. We can tell before. you about it after the fact, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because we're going to be there and take pictures. Yes. And, and I'm sure you guys will have plenty. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today. And now you know what time it is. Brooklyn, you get to come over here and sing with us. Can you go, me, me, me? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to sing happy birthday to our wonderful, the best birthday, birthday people. people. Is that okay, Mom, if she sings yeah, with Okay, <laughs> I should have asked that. I learned you got to ask the parents because you're minor <laughs> children. Okay, we got the best birthday people. We would like to warn you, if you don't like to be happy, then you might want to turn the channel. Okay. Right? You know how they warn you about bad stuff you're yeah. going to see on TV? We yeah. warn you about the good stuff because there's some grumpy people out there who don't like happy birthday. I know. Okay, happy birthday to Shannon the Therapist, Troy Houghton, Betty Marianne Tovar, Glenda Mabry, and Shirley Ann smith Burt. Shelly Carey. I'm so glad Joyce Wilder is watching. Today. Okay, yes, yes, indeed. We want to also say happy birthday to Shevis Keller. Yes. Jerry Mabry. Yes. Zorana Jerry Mabry. Wortham. Yes. Jacob Ferguson. Hey, Vanessa Talley Gardner yes. and Judy Jones. Happy yes. birthday, y'all. Yes, happy birthday. We always have we got two Mabrys on the list. Mm -hmm. Who else? Everybody we know, the best birthday people. They, there it is. And I'm sure you would agree. <laughs> it couldn't fit more perfectly. Than to have a world party on the day you came to be. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. To ya. Happy birthday. <laughs> I know. She uh, Brooklyn's got too much energy. Yes. Right? <laughs> I want you to settle down a little bit. <laughs> okay, Shaviva, as seasoned women, thank you for telling us how we were seasoned. Right. In a nice way. I told you. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You said something about you were seasoned, so I mean, like, we're seasoned. Duh. Oh. Right. Okay. So, so you sorry. said that, no, the last time you were on the show, okay. and we're like, okay. we like okay. that. Okay. So now it's okay. even a part of our show. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, she's apologizing. I'm like, dang, did I just no, no, that's a good <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that was cool. That was okay. fine. Yeah. As seasoned women, we've mm -hmm. been around, and we've heard a few things, and mm -hmm. we've learned a few things. Yeah. So I've learned not to be afraid to make mistakes or appearing naive. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that not giving up doesn't mean holding on when you are wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh, sometimes, Boom. yeah. Gotta be wrong yeah. sometimes. Yeah. I was wrong once. <laughs> once. <laughs> but then I found out I was right. And so that's why you were wrong. Yes. Oh. I get it. Okay. Well, until next week, everybody, keep doing more stuff that makes you awesome. That's right. Like beauty and like Tiani. Yes. Because, because it, it makes, makes us all look good. good. And remember, if it's Friday, it's, it's North, North End, End Update. Update. Okay, See you next corny, time. But it's true. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>